Hey there, everyone. Yeah, it's Steve here. Welcome back. Today we're trying our chances at the third confession again, and we're gonna see how it goes. I have a different damage over time group kind of set up. I think this no one's gonna be a little bit better. You. With Taking what we learned from the last one, uh, we're not going to be using the flagellant and stress relief this time around. I think that was our biggest mistake. So we're gonna see how it goes. There's not nearly as much stress relief this time, which is kind of my biggest fear. However, there is a lot more damage potential, I think. Uh, so we're going to see how this end works. Ah, uh, yes, four. So we're going to try out Howling End here. On to the next. Put as much flight on this guy to make him go down. There he goes. Then with the Grave Robber, which I think is the Night Swarm we have her on. Uh, it might also be the one that does blight. I can't really remember right now. Malaise, measured and steady. I do plan on getting a bunch of her in the flagellant some um, hero shrines this time around, though. So we'll see how that goes. Because they're the ones I uh, actually the only ones I have to unlock this run. Straightforward and effective. To mastery points. Otherwise, not much there. We'll see what we can do. Push on to the inn. Hero goal complete already. I await you. Use poison dart two times in a single fight. That was pretty easy. There are yet places such as this. Where a little light still gathers. Alright, for our mastery points, um, there are a lot of really good choices. I mean, really good choices. Uh, I think the biggest one we have to absolutely get is toe-to-toe -to -toe on Bodhika here, because that's going to be her only good way of removing winded unless we use adrenaline rush which i don't want to use unless absolutely necessary which howling end is going to give winded brackish reveille is going to give winded so that's going to be a immediate spent now for our other point that's where i'm not entirely sure we can get a little bit of damage up and blight on s rain we can get healing up on deathless which could be technically good we could get more Blight on Fester, which we've seen do wonders for us. More damage and Blight on Punish. Excuse me. Oh, this removing stress could be good. Healing 50% and giving her two stacks of uh, stealth. That could also be very good. Improved dodge. Otherwise, not too much there. Extra Blight on her darts and extra damage, which will be her main thing. So I'm really thinking Dead of the Night there. Or for the Plague Doctor, Battlefield Medicine, healing for a little more and removing debuffs on herself is an obvious choice. Indiscriminate Science, comboing something, um, doing extra damage is a big choice I'm thinking of uh, with some of our next Mastery Points. Indiscriminate Science, removing and healing per negative token is another one I'm really thinking of. Um, but I think that one can wait because we're not going to run into too much of that yet. So I think, honestly, out of all of those, I'm going to go with Dead of the Night. We're going to use Whiskey Bottle. And hope the best. Nope. Experience, however painful, is the greatest teacher of all. I do think I still want the Orphan Wolf Cub over the Pygmy Plyskin. And there's not too much else I want here, so we're just going to grab the Whiskey Flasks. And see what's on the roof. Everywhere. Avoid the Warder or the Collector's Everywhere. Chandelier. In need. So I think we are going to... Actually... The Shroud is the one I kind of wanted to try, and the Tangle is the boss I'm pretty sure we can take down. 
So, with that being said... I'm gonna do something rather stupid. We're gonna go to the Tangle, because that's the boss I'm almost certain about taking down. Trenches and tents. The front lines of a war that was never fought. We're gonna go to the Wainwright, because I have this element this. As vital to survival as sharpened steel. Yes, we have that, and we have this. We can then switch the Almanac out for the Sprawl if we ever get there. And we will head out. Because I don't have anything else right yet. That's not good. It's pretty early on. I was hoping for it to at least be um, a few into this. So we, we got to go left to get that Oblivion here. We're going to get a candle, a resistance encounter, and then the lair. Whispers. And we're going to see what this group can do, because this is the encounter I thought they could take. And if it's not, well, I'm... um. Looking for an early restart. Two arms, though it brings no satisfaction. And she wants to run already, which we're not going to do. Alright, once again, we're going to take out that bishop right away, just so he's not despawning everything, which we've had troubles with before, so we're going to acid rain. Excellent work. We are then going to play grenade. Um, I actually want a howling or er, iron swan, not howling, and to uh, try to get the drummer down a little bit. And then we're gonna poison dart to get the bishop. If we can get him down before getting anything else, that'll be huge. That way he can't respawn them and we won't have to take them down again. I grenade again. That gets rid of that guard. Bodica can then iron swan again. That'll get rid of the drummer. We can then dead of night. Get rid of that corpse, healing her. Alright, and then... Bishop's gonna die on its turn, so we can turn our attention to the footman. Lighting them. does only get rid of one stack. I was a little concerned about that. Result. And a howling end. Trying to get rid of this one. And get rid of that bleed. Maybe get that relationship up. No. Alright. Getting rid of the guard. Blighting. There goes one. Healing Damien a little bit. Generosity. But a welcome one nonetheless. This gets rid of her stress, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna toe to toe. And I think it goes down. Uh. 
An inkling of potency still lingers and in some of these clandestine cape. Relics. I think that should go on the grave robber just for the chance at the stealth for now. It's not much, but it's something. And she can have the crow's feet. Bodika can have the linoleum, however you pronounce that. And here we are. Let's do this. Within every keep, a general and his right. loyal. I want to get guard. the knight lighted first. Um, we're gonna howling end, just getting this kind of worked on. We're going to noxious blast one of them because it's gonna do more damage, technically. It's only hitting one target no matter what I do. And we're gonna blight the foot soldier. The enemy weakens. He's gonna go to Death's Door on his turn now, at least. And then we're gonna start on this one because we can. Getting rid of the guard. Lighting him. The fiend's strength dwindled. And toe to toe. Now both of them should die on their next turn, leaving us with the knight. Alright, we are going to dead of the knight, get rid of the stress, give the stealth. Oh boy, okay. This may hurt a little bit, but at least she has guard. So that gives you rid of one red post and one of the blocks. We're going to punish him, hopefully blighting while doing that. And he's gonna need a heal. Alright, there goes that one. Healing Damien. This wound, at least, has been tended to. Uh, yeah, we're gonna fester that. I think that'll do the better damage there. Toe to toe. Making her it attack her. I'm gonna poison dart. And that blight should be taking care of him by now. We can heal. I think that's more important than getting rid of the bleed. And toe to toe will actually kill him. Or I thought it would. It's really hanging on. Um, just to try to kill him, I suppose. Wow is no time to falter. He will not go down. <laughs> so we're gonna Deathless to heal her. Then healing Bodika so she also gets rid of the bleed. And... Would he go down? Cunning. You may outwit them yet. What is with this guy? Find adrenaline rush. Let's see if we can't get that heal now. Persistence will overcome even the greatest of threats. That was. I've never seen that many death blows on a single jobber enemy. All right. Uh, we need to take out the bishop first. So, um, I'm actually going to toe-to-toe -to -toe so that they focus on her. 
Damien is going through Acid Rain, hitting both of them, hopefully blighting. We are going to play Grenade, blighting them again. Okay, kind of saw that one coming. That's fine. And we are actually going to Howling End here. Get that flowing. Um, I think, you know, Indiscriminate Science won't get rid of that for now. So we're just going to heal her. Comes rarely in these Getting times. rid of that. Savor it. Lighting the Bishop again. Seven and two. So he goes down on his next turn. And focus on these two now. Uh, getting the knight. Uh oh. Flash his gift. Bishop down. Dead of the night. He's gonna go to Death Store on his turn so we can heal Damien. This wound at least has been tended to. Wow, good thing we healed him. Uh, we are gonna toe to toe. This is no time to falter. Uh, healing Damien again. Because she's going to heal herself here. With Adrenaline Rush. Yeah, he needs to be a little bit lower for that. So let's uh, hope that uh, he actually dies to the Blight and go at the a break Soldier. Through. I should have saw that one coming. I, I really should have. But we can make sure he goes down at least. I hope. I lash his gift to heal him. Down he goes. Okay. This is not a great position to be in to start the fight with the boss, but it kind of is what it is at this point. And I still feel like we can blight him down. He has retreated, undying, into a dream. And there he must stay. Alright, so. We're going to start with Howling End. I think that huge chunk out of him. I don't need to get any of these for now, so we're going to punish, hoping to blight him. We are right away going to try to get on the indiscriminate science thing here, hoping to heal Bordika a little bit before it's a little too late. Trampled, trapped, held captive by fear. And she is just going to spam poison dart, open to blight. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Alright, here we go. Punishing again. Uh actually gonna use these crow's feet to try to bleed him. And then we're gonna notch his blast. Toe-to-toe. Uh, -to -toe. And then because someone needs to hit that one, we're going to just poison dart and get rid of it. It's taking 11 damage a turn now, which is really nice. A wash in turmoil. And she's going to need to get rid of some stress. So 
So we are going to poison dart him. Rackish revelry. He's stressing everyone, including herself. We are acid raining, hitting both of them, getting one of these to get removed. And we are plague grenading. Hitting him, lighting him more, getting that last one removed a bit. He's now taking 20 damage per round. We are going to continue with that. Acid Rain. Uh, poison Dart. Yeah, I don't need to Absinthe right now. Actually, let's do that just to be safe. We are going to Crow's Feet. And battlefield medicine him. Let's see what this does. Alright, I thought that would get rid of one of those. And because she can't get rid of stress, she is going to adrenaline rush. Anxiety forms insidious fears. I thought that might be a thing, but we're going to get him in the next few rounds, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Four Poison Dart. 19 around. Flag Grenade, this should bring it up a little bit more. 22 around. Um... Actually, gonna howling end here, taking a huge chunk out of him, and then we're gonna acid rain. Hopefully, that lights him more. So, 26 around, he dies next turn. This is no time to falter. So, we're gonna do what we can to de stress here. And then otherwise just take him out. A calculated generosity. But a welcome one nonetheless. Relief comes rarely in these times. Savor it. That should help us out. And then he died. Oh, Death Store. I forgot about that. Shoot. Well, we, we can still get him. That's not, not a problem. Alright, that, that wasn't horrible. The Wayne Rider. Mastery, 15 flame. Here to ply his trade. A few good things for us, so. And we can start de stressing on the other fights. Weakness to power and. Or weakness to guard and. I'm not sure what that other one is technically called, but. I think we're gonna give the Footman's Grog to her. Give hastening history to him. He already has a lot of death blow resistance, so giving that to him would actually be kind of funny. And since she's never going to be first, give those to her. And killing blow on cadavers, all right. Looking at the map here, it's going to be probably more beneficial to go to the Hero Shrine, because then we can also go to the Hoarder, which might get us distressing items. Though decidedly inconvenient, at least we know what's coming.
The loathing whispers. And because we have more moves on Damien here that I use more frequently, I think I'm going to immediately go with Audrey on this one. Chapter 2. Nightcap. Night after night of disrespect and abuse, enough was enough. I mean, hiding isn't the worst thing in the world in that case. Poison his drink or take a breath. He saw you do that, too. Why would he still take a drink? She listened, smirking, as his empty apologies came in desperate, choking gags. I mean, that's not the worst in the world if you use it right. That that could be an immediate, hey, I need something off of someone else. As an off tank type of deal. Emptied of mind and spirit by some existential shock, the poor devils roam aimlessly amidst the trees. All right, so there's a few things I would immediately like here. Let's see if he has any. So we should probably get the whittling tools for stress. Um, and I, I'd like the whiskey bottles and whiskey flasks too. We, and we definitely have enough, uh, I think it's relics for that. If Oh, health below 20% damage plus 25% punish steals positive token. That's actually pretty good. Plague Doctor, if noxious item equipped plus 2 damage dealt. Hmm. And I just absolutely love the pot and still for the whiskey stuff because that gets the relationships up almost max by the end, so I think I have to take this. But, uh... Where was it? This early experiment thing. I'm really tempted to get this because of how well it works with the group that we're trying to do. If Noxious Item is equipped, which we have a Noxious Item, and we have another Noxious Item on... Or, not noxious item, but thing that stacks with noxious items, I think on Audrey. So she'd be doing plus four light damage. And she doesn't use incision, so I think that's a good choice. And that, but that would be all of our baubles, but would that powerful of an item be worth it? And then we can get the whiskey bottle, we can get the whittling tools, we can get the whiskey flasks. Um, honestly, the stimulants might be worth it for Bodhika, so she can hit a harder... Um, 
what was it? I, I can't remember the move's name, but uh, Howling End because 8 to 14. And if she crits with that, even better, and it'll do 50% more damage. And give her more speed to go faster afterward to put her back in place and taunt things. So I think that is all stuff well spent. So let's equip what we got. We're gonna put the stimulants on her. Damien here, uh I think I want the linoleum, and we're gonna start using that if we get into a fight. Expect actually we're going to get into a fight because of the Oblivion's rampart, and we're gonna start de-stressing people. Uh, the death cap spores are our noxious item. We have to get that off of her, meaning we can put something else on her. Um, so probably like the crow speed or something like that. And we need a poison ring back, meaning we can... Um, do this. We don't have another... Yeah. Then Audrey here. Uh, each hero on combat start, I think, uh, but she's more likely to go first in turn order. So, let's put that on her instead. And that puts everyone in a better place, so let's go. Here's a den, which will do good for us. And I really don't want to leave, so. All right. So right away, like I said before, we're going to Howling End, especially because he's carrying eaters. And maybe we can take one out. No, but we came pretty close to it. Uh. Because of how she's set up, I want to see how this works. Alright, we didn't get one, but we got rid of their dodges, which is just as good. He's stunned, that's not great. And... Just so I can get where I need to be in this fight, we're going to crow feet. The fiend's strength dwindles. He's got rid of their dodge. And then we're going to kill him. Not play him, kill him. Okay. Alright. Dead of the night. That way he can't eat it. We are then going to blight him. A breakthrough. So six blight damage from that. Very good. We are going to linoleum her. That way she gets down a little bit, and we are going to blight him more. Haste and carelessness. All marks of the unprepared. And we are going to toe to toe. It dies on its next turn. So we don't have to worry about the Kyrian Eater anymore. We are going to rack a shrubbery, just get rid of more stress. And she is going to heal. A small foundation of trust. Bafflement and vexation. Alright, we are going to actually get the Weber, I think, so we don't get stunned. Getting rid of more stress. Grace. Small acts that drive back the darkness. There goes the corpse eater or the carrion eater. I'm gonna leave her at five so I can rock his shrivelry again. We're gonna go at Weber. 
we are going to heal. A little help impeccably timed. Getting rid of one of these to heal and get rid of one of the stress things on her. And let's keep going. Might as well finish off that stress. We are going to blight it. Toe to toe. Mistimed. Misdirected. Um. Which health does it? It's gonna die on its turn anyway. So let's revelry, getting that stress down a little bit more. Then getting that stress down even more. Or manageable level, hitting it, kill it. And nothing I'm too worried about, so that's good. We are gonna crow's feet to get rid of the dodges, and then I'm going to get rid of even more dodges. I'm then gonna play grenade. A slow dissection, an unavoidable end. Play grenading again. And that should take a huge chunk out of both of them, if not kill both of these two. Uh, we can then start up this one. Poison dart. I think both of them have to go at Bodica here. Deliberate and methodical appliance of harm. We are going to hold it. Oh, actually, how much do all this need? This will still kill one of them. We're gonna do that. We're going to get rid of that dodge. Damien can heal himself. Last gift. She's gonna do whatever it wants. We are going to heal up. Oh. Getting rid of the wind. Oh, both winded stacks. Wow. And. We actually can heal. Wow. And there we go, that is the death. Discounted combat and in items. I will take that and a mastery point. And we already have discounted trinkets, so that will be just about everything at the end discounted. She did get a disease. Um, assistance, assistance, or unknown with the candle. We're gonna go the way that doesn't have the oblivion tier. That we know of, because there's three unknowns up there. Desperate and wanting. Will you rebuff their earnest please? No one likes each other's choices. I can just avoid them, I can get extra relics, or I can get flame and scouting. I mean, I'm gonna take the extra relics. I think. Actually, how, how's our flame doing? I think we have enough flame to get to the rampart. So 16 extra relics won't hurt us. We'll see how this does. Alright, 
rough patch, not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, we're gonna be able to get to the end, I think. Just by a hair, but we can still do it. And now this should be interesting because of how we can blight them. I think Bodika can just focus on getting the um, two up front here. I forget their names off the top of my head, Evangelist. So we are going to get the altar blighted first with her and remove that. We are going to then Acid Rain. Not sure why I did that. Flag Grenade. More Blight. Nine around on him. We are then going to Howling End, getting... Let's go... Front Row. We are going to then... Oh. Forced Invalid? Darn. Well, I guess we're going to Blight him again. Because the Taunt. And hit him again because of the Taunt. And hit him again because why not now? And he's going to go down to Death's Door on his turn. So we're not going to bother hitting him again. We are then going to toe to toe. Hitting the other one, getting rid of that token. We're going to forcibly go at her. And the altar is down. I think I'm going to go at the chair. Oh, no. Have to go at him. But there's death blow. A lesson taught is a lesson learned. Okay, Iron Swan's not going to do anything, so we're going to toe-to-toe -to -toe again, getting rid of that token. We are then going to fester this one so we can get the Cherub. And if that goes off, I think that's... Oh, nope, Cherub still has a little bit left. So we're going to Blight the Evangelist. There's a huge chunk of its health. In a dead of the night, getting rid of this corpse, getting them all in the front row, getting rid of the stress. Cherub dies on its turn, so we can focus on doing other things. Uh, we're going to toe-to-toe -to -toe again, making sure that Taunt stacks up. Death Store, it'll go down on its turn now, probably. Just leaving that Chero. Let's go for another heal. This wound, at least, has been tended to. And that is that. Another Mastery, another Flame. Flame resistance if we go into the sprawl. Disarming daggers kind of meh at this point. But more importantly, I'm pretty sure we are going to make it to the end now because of the extra flame. traps from that. We would come here in summers of years gone to write, think, and rest. Gaunt Slayer, never bad. Fussy Eater, not too concerned about that. And Rummager, might be a good thing. Mastery point. 
Alright, let's see what they have here. For wealth no longer has meaning. Definitely getting the playing cards. It's indeed it ever did. I want those whiskey flasks, which it won't let me get quite yet. And we're oh I can't get the griddle, but that is what it is. Each improvement, a new variable in the equation of your fate. Or can I? I can't. Okay. And for our next route. Every road a winding torment. Every turn bent on our destruction. Part of me wants to go to the sluice, and part of me wants to go to the altar here just to get the mastery points. Um, I think I'm going to go to the sluice, and then, because I, I think that'll get me more mastery points, to be honest, in the long run. And then after that, we can go and get whatever we need. So let's take a look at this stuff. That you may stand just a little taller at the end. So we're definitely going to upgrade Howling End so it has a better damage and less cooldown and more crit. How does this upgrade? Improve dodge, okay. It'd be more damage and more blight. Cause of death. Now, if I would have popped this off on a target, like the uh, general, we probably could have ended him a little bit faster, especially with the 100% of damage rather than, you know, 75%. So I think I should probably upgrade this. Definitely want to upgrade indiscriminate science. That leaves me with one, and I feel like I should pop it onto Damien here. And with how we've been using him, it should either go to Punish, so he does more upfront damage, and that's one to two minimum damage, and then like one Blight damage, which might be good, and then that modifier thing is never going to pop off because we don't have a combo. Fester, we've been using extra Fester damage could be good. Lash's Gift for it. Improved dodge and the empowerment. That could be good. I could see the use of that. And then Acid Rain doing an extra damage no matter what and an extra Blight damage. I could see that being very useful too with how we've been using it. So just because I kind of want to put it on Damien, I'm going to go for Acid Rain. I'm not sure that's the right choice, but it's the choice I'm making. Wainwright, we do Repaired need some reversed. repairs. I know we can't repair everything. And then we're gonna go into this loose. Abandoned waterways. Home now to far worse than rats. And use the whittling tools on Potika there. And we're gonna use these playing cards. Now, uh, how her and Damien definitely need to, and her and, all right, so that's fixed, but how about everyone else so that they're not unfriendly? Need three there, if I can help it. So that would be Provisioner. And let's see what we can do. I can get three of those. I can get two of these. So... Unfriendly there. So let's... Only want to put one of these because they're my faster people and I don't want to make them any faster. Only need one now, I guess. And she's just gonna piss everyone off, it looks like. So we're gonna do what we can on Bodica there. Okay. 
and at least that will be a chance for a negative. And then with that being said, next time we will go into the sluice and then wherever it leads after that. So that's it for this time. Um, I'm not sure how far we're going to get into this run. Like I said, this is kind of a test group. Um, I'm really enjoying it. It does seem to be working well. I, though, like I said, I'm, I'm not sure about boss. We do have a lair, so we can just skip basically to the end, though. So that is a thing. Uh, I, I did want to try the Leviathan with it, but it seems like I might not have to. Although I did kind of want to just kind of like see how I can beat the Leviathan and eventually with another group see how I can beat the boss, the Foiter, because I would really like to know how to beat them. <laughs> I've never actually done it. So yeah, um, that, that'll be it for this time. I might do the Leviathan in the next episode. I might not if they pop up. Um, otherwise, as always, I wish you all well. I'll see you next time and please have a good one.